One Piece is out on Netflix, season one of the live action adaptation of the manga and anime under the same title, obviously, uh, which is one of the longest running and certainly the most popular and successful manga and anime series of all time. Uh, the manga started all the way back in 1997 and the anime in 1999 and they're, they're both still running weekly without any major longer breaks. Uh, I've been following it regularly since high school and I've just now come to realize that it's been over a decade now which is wild when you think about it. Uh, so I do have to start this review with a little bit of a background. Uh, see, live action ad anime adaptations historically have been pretty awful. I mean you look at stuff like Dragon Ball Evolution, Avatar The Last Airbender, Death Note, Ghost in the Shell, very recently Cowboy Bebop also on Netflix. Uh, all of them failed miserably. Somehow it's always been impossible for their creators to recapture the spirit of the animated originals uh, into the more grounded live action sort of setting. So when I heard that Netflix of all companies was making One Piece, I was like, ah, shit, here we go again. Uh, in fact, I was even more pessimistic than usual, uh, because if you had just asked me straight up which of the anime series that I've seen would be the most difficult to adapt to live action, I would have said One Piece without a doubt. Not even because it's had over a thousand episodes by now and it's still running, it still isn't finished, so that alone is a problem, but mainly because it's so unbelievably wacky. Uh, I mean, it's it's a show about pirates, but it also features ninjas, samurai, fishmen uh, and mermaids, uh, talking animals, people with various magic superpowers. The main character can stretch his body like rubber and his crew at this point in time include, but are not limited, to a swordsman who fights using three katanas uh, uh, at the same time, one in each hand and the third one in his mouth, held between his teeth. Nonsense. A pervert skeleton musician with an afro uh, who routinely asks female characters to see their panties, a talking reindeer who looks more like a cartoon version of a raccoon and is mistaken for a raccoon routinely by other characters. I mean, there are outlandish people in the anime and in the manga who very often look or behave in absolutely crazy ways and sometimes it's not even commented uh, on or explained in the universe, it's, it's sort of just who they are and so on and so forth. In a nutshell, it is one of the most cartoonish animes in existence. Uh, it, re it relies very heavily on the tools of the animated medium to be what it wants to be. So, of course, there was only one way that the live action adaptation could go and that was straight to the trash can. But I wanted to check it out anyway because of that, you know, stupid morbid curiosity just to experience how much of a train wreck it would end up being. And having now finished the whole 8 episode season, I have to say it's pretty fantastic. I mean, I still can't believe I have to say these words, but the creators have absolutely nailed the tone and the atmosphere of the original and managed to tap into what makes makes that great. Um, I, I've read that Eiichiro Oda, uh, the manga writer, the manga creator, was heavily involved in the show's production and he had a lot of say in, in what they could do what they couldn't do to ensure that it would stay true to the original. So perhaps that is the reason or one of the reasons why so many of the things worked. I mean, the casting is splendid. Uh, most of the characters look and more importantly behave exactly like they would on the pages of the manga. Uh, there's a crazy amount of attention to detail uh, with the sets, uh, the costumes, the hairstyles, dialogue and so on. Uh, the performances are pretty good. Most notably Inyaki Godoy is fantastic as Luffy. He really captures his upbeat positive vibe. The story, even though it changes some things, remains mostly faithful to the manga in terms of the events and, again, more importantly, it remains completely faithful to the manga in spirit. Uh, the character motivations and the goals stay the same. Their dynamics between them, between the characters, stay the same. The major plot points stay the same. Hell, many of the iconic scenes uh, from the anime were recreated shot for shot. like. Shanks saving young Luffy, Luffy meeting Zoro for the first time, Luffy giving Nami his hat before the walk to Arlong Park. There's really lots of that stuff. And 
perhaps at the heart of all this success is the thing that that I think so many of the other adaptations just miss completely, which is that One Piece is not embarrassed of its anime roots. It's not afraid of being goofy, silly, sometimes downright stupid, just like the original was, because the showrunners realized, well, this is why people love the original. This is what worked about it. Um, and, you know, it even sort of looks that way. Some people on the internet have commented that some of the clothes or hairstyles or, or sets look sort of weird. They don't really look realistic. Well, yes, that's the point. They're not meant to be realistic. And it's great that the people involved in it realize that. Um, which I think is the really the main lesson that all people adapting stuff should take away from this success. Um, and it has been a success. Apparently, One Piece has already become the most popular show on Netflix of all time. Uh, it overtook Stranger Things and Wednesday uh, globally. And, and the lesson is just honor the original. Uh, stay true to what you're adapting. Because if you're adapting a beloved property that has loads of fans already, I mean, there's a reason why it's beloved. There's a reason why those people became fans in the first place. And you should identify that reason and keep that untouched. And I feel that that's exactly what happened in One Piece, and I couldn't be happier as a result. Uh, all in all, they just knocked it out of the park with this one. I loved the adaptation, although, to be fair, I still prefer the anime between the two, obviously. Um, but but I liked it. I, I, I liked it a lot, and I hope that Netflix isn't afraid of, of throwing money the way of the show and, and funding the next seasons so that we can see the saga continue.